Now, we're, we're dialing Alan through the, the grinder, um, the blinder. Blinder, grinder. <laughs> I was just thinking about my Friday. No, I wasn't. Don't even start there. 5050 on the text if you want it. No, what do we say? Don't even start there. <laughs> Um, but we have a specific time to call Alan, and what happens is we phone this number, and then he answers the phone at the end of it. And it, a lot of the sports organisations do it these days, so that what happens is then the interview is recorded, and they kind of can tell, see, hear what you chat about, all that kind of stuff. And and also it means that you know us tossers in the media don't get the actual personal cell phones of these guys, so we don't stalk them and bug them and, and everything else. Alan Bunting is the new director of rugby for the Black Ferns, and I bet I'm the 1,000th person today to say congratulations to you, and thank you so much for joining us, Alan. Welcome to the show. Oh, thanks, Martin. Yeah, here you are. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I tell you, this is the easiest decision New Zealand rugby had to make. This was an absolute no-brainer. How much did you want this job, though? Yeah, for me, like, I never sort of looked too far in the future. Wherever I end up, I you know, try and put my energy into that, and and, and, you know, when I get to the end of that, I look to see what's next. And, you know, after my journey and what just happened with that World Cup, and I could just see the potential of women's rugby, and you know, that's where I wanted to be. Yeah, so talk us through that, because you've coached, obviously, the Blackfern Sevens to absolute glory and everything else. Why why the women's game? And would you ever, you know, transfer these talents, these skills, this nous to the, to the, to the men's game? Yeah, well, I, I was lucky enough. I, you know, I did the Chiefs Manawa um, this year, and I got I was with uh, Clayton and the and the Chiefs team for the you know, first part of the season. Was with them full time, which I learnt quite a lot. And um, over in the men's game, but uh, I I just think you know the transition um, from non professional, semi professional into professionalism in the 15s game is is going to be a massive shift. And um, you know, really supporting that and building, you know, getting the right people and building the support. You know, throughout the provincial unions and our and our hubs that support our black ferns and creating a pathway for our you know our ladies that were at school that got to witness that you know they they can see that is you know I can remember watching the All Blacks and um seeing you know some certain players playing and far out I'd love to be there and you know, that's just happened on a on a you know on a, on a massive scale so you know creating those pathways is something that's meaningful for me you know sport can change lives oh yeah give people a pathway mm. and. So I'm really passionate about you know, helping build those foundations. When you're at the top of the pyramid, though, and you've overachieved with the sevens, and you know part of Wayne's crew overachieving again to win that World Cup title, is there, is there any fear in you? Like, where do you go from? How do you get better than that? Um, <laughs> yeah, well, there's always you know when you're coaching national teams, there's always fear, and you know we with our sevens, we were usually sort of at the top or near it, and you know the hardest thing is staying there. So I, I think it's a it's a bigger challenge than you know coming from far behind. You know the expectations are to be better, and you know I think there are you know lots of room that we can improve. And you know, I probably talked about it. You know we had 32 ladies that got to experience that. You know we need to build depth and have a whole lot more. And when um, you got people chomping on your heels, you know he drives the performance at the top. So you know I think there's you know still a lot more growth. What about bringing in the old hands again, calling on that kind of experience? Maybe not Wayne himself, but is that is that part of your plan that you're going to use that acumen that's already out there, that knowledge? Yeah, of course. You know, I, you know, once you know Smithy and Ted and Chrono go, once you coach the woman, you you be connected to that for life. And oh, I know Smithy's always there to help support. Um, you know, and you know we're going in the wrong direction. I'm sure you'll pick up the phone and let me know. But you know, we've got some amazing rugby people in our country and. Um, that can really give to the women's game. So, you know, I'm sure we'll be looking for some more support. I hope New Zealand rugby uh, are on to it in terms of your fixtures. I know we've got a couple against Australia, but we all want to see England and France out here, or we want to see our team playing England and France. Do you know Do you know if those if, 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 if that's in the pipeline at all? Yeah, it's definitely in the pipeline, and I think it's you know, near to be confirmed. But, you know, a crossover with the Six Nations is, is something that's nearly... Um, finalised, so you know that'll be great having that each year. I was at the stadium, I was at Eden Park for that match, mate, and it was only one of the greatest you know things I've ever been to in New Zealand yeah. sport. Just, I mean, I could just, I mean, I could, you know, you you know, your hairs on your back, your neck, I bet raised up. There's something about that. It was different from watching men's rugby. It was a different atmosphere, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm quite used to it. You know, I'm used to being around our ladies and 
um, I wasn't up in the crowd, so I, I didn't, you know, I didn't feel what you guys felt, but I've certainly heard about it. Um, so, yeah, I know for us it's our responsibility to continue on, you know, um, creating safe environments so our ladies can really be themselves and let go of all their fears out on the field and be free. Are you a coach or the director of rugby, and what's the difference? Oh, I, I don't know, but... Um, <laughs> 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 but I, 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 I Hopefully like it's that. a pay grade, Alan. Hopefully it's a pay grade. I hope the director pays more. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, well, no, I, I, you know, for me, I've always sort of watched over program and I look after the, the Modi or the life force of the group and make sure we're heading in the right direction. And um, that's what I've sort of done with the sevens and, you know, and I'll, I'll do that here with this team. Is this your dream job right now? Yes, it is. I'm, I'm certainly very honoured, blessed, privileged um, to be in this position right now. Okay, so how does it unfold? What's the first couple of weeks, first couple of months on the job? Obviously, o, uh, Super Rugby, o, o picky. You're, that, you're obviously all eyes on that and watching those players. Yeah, well, I'm really excited about that. There's a whole lot of new talent there. You know, all our ladies that you know, play in that World Cup. It'll be see, good to see how they show up and... Um, yeah, there's, so it'll be sort of finalising contracts and um, you know, getting the right people around the program and the right people around the, the support and the hubs and the, and the PUs. So yeah, there's a bit of work to do straight away. And how long's your tenure? Uh, three years. Hopefully, I last that long. Mm-hmm. So that's through to the next World Cup. And, and does it take in the next World Cup? Uh, yeah, it, it through to the next World Cup. All right. Well, congratulations again, mate. I just think it was an absolute no-brainer of an appointment. Uh, you're the right man, right place for the for the right job. Congratulations. Well, thanks very much, Martin. Appreciate the support. Yeah, I appreciate the fact that you answered the phone and talked to us as well. Thanks very much for doing that.